I first became active in the Arkansas Republican Party in 1972. The chairman of the party was Charles Bernard at that time, and he recruited me to run for lieutenant governor. I was the outgoing president of the Arkansas JCs, so because of that, I had somewhat of a base. But uniquely, I was able to make my decision as an informed adult as to what party I wanted to be a member of. At that time, they both were trying to recruit, recruit me, and McGovern was running and Nixon was running. So it wasn't real hard for me to figure out that I was a conservative and not a liberal. I became the executive director in 19, January 1973. Charles Bernard was the chairman. And um, there, were some, there was difficult times back then, there's no question about it. We had a small staff. The county committees across the state were mostly weak. And uh, Mr. Rockefeller was gone or he was sick by that time and no longer funded the party like he had before. So we had to figure out how to handle that. We had me and Bill Valentine and a secretary and another guy that ran the printing operation. We kind of did our own printing. But Bill ran the uh, Arkansas Outlook, which was our newspaper. And I was the executive director and we had a, we had a secretary. So. We spent a lot of time trying to build the county committees and ultimately trying to recruit good candidates, but we knew and understood back then that this was a calling. It wasn't just the goal to win an election. You had to build a party and it was going to take years, but that didn't particularly bother you. You had a lot of dedicated people like uh, Mr. Rockefeller and Ada Mills and Leona Troxell and people who understood those kind of goals. They weren't just running for shallow, short-range reasons. Back then you had a lot of people who uh, shied away from being vocal with their republicanism because it wasn't popular. I mean, they, they didn't want people thinking badly of them or thinking less of them, so uh, they wouldn't always admit that they were republicans or certainly wouldn't openly talk about it. But that was just one of our challenges. We understood that as well. So we just went about doing the things we had to do to slowly and surely build and laid some foundations, taught the county committees a lot of training sessions. and. I started to doing some things that would pay off in, in later years, and it did. When you talk about the growth of the Republican Party in Arkansas, it's interesting that today's chairman is somebody that I recruited when he was 17. So between us, we covered the 60, almost 60 years. So I think both of us saw it as a calling. A lot of our leaders have. They saw it as a high goal. And they just worked until it got done, and that's what's going to happen. If we don't get it done this time, I think we will, and he thinks we will. But if we don't, we'll get it done next time. I think it's important for people to understand that a lot of people did a lot of hard work that hardly anybody knew about, and it all kind of pulled together and steady grew. And, and the reporters would ask me each time when, at the each election about, the results, and, and they never had any understanding of it. They'd look at it short range and shallow, and I try to get them to understand that, look, we're growing each time, and it doesn't take a genius to see this. And in time, we're going to succeed. In time, we're going to be the major party in the state. And I think now it's closer to being that, and it's easier to see. But for a long time, it was like it wasn't ever going to happen. But I always thought it was.